Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sizday here and I'm back again with another video for you guys and in today's video we are back on NBA 2K22 after like three months but we're gonna get started right away. Uh, in today's video we have five methods for you guys to get VC as soon as you can. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how much VC I have just so I can show you that I'm a little bit reliable. Uh, as you can see right there I had 151,000. I don't know how to actually show the VC. I think it's a progression. Okay, it's, I don't know. But you saw it right there where it says get VC, 151,000 uh, VC right there. Okay, and now I, I didn't buy VC. I'm not gonna spend money on this game. I don't think ever again, uh, except when 2K23 comes out. So now that I have a VC method, I don't think I'm gonna be spending any money, real life money, unless I wanna write something off my taxes. But we're not gonna be talking about that right now. So we're gonna be showing you guys five different methods, okay? And we're gonna get started right now. So the first thing you wanna do is go over here, press start, and then go over to Pro-Am, okay? Now, I'm already in a team. I don't think we played, yeah, so the, they ended the team, okay? So what you do is you create a team, okay? Now this is only gonna work if you have people to play with. You don't. It doesn't need to be friends. There are plenty of discords out there that want to do like that. Just that just want to play pro am. And the good thing about pro am is you get. First of all, before you even start to get this to the pro am part, make sure you save your money. Okay, save your money. Do not spend your money on dumb clothes. I'm gonna show you how much clothes I actually have. Um, I don't have a lot. I mean, I, I have a, a few, you know, a good amount to make a few good outfits, but I, I don't have a lot. I don't spend that much money on the game uh, or, or even VC on the game. As you can see, I only have five pairs of, of unders okay of jeans of shorts i don't even have shorts so of uh, bottoms that's what I, I don't know why i said unders but i only have five pairs the shoes are probably worse yep the shoes are four okay so just think about that don't spend your money on your vc on clothes you're not a sneakerhead you're not you know you're not a fashionista in real life so stop being it in the game understand uh, all right cool so st you gotta save your vc that's number that's rule number one all right Save your dang VC and stop spending money on dumb clothes. Boom. Simple as that. So, so like I said, go over to pro -M, make a team, um, and you'll get, one, number one, more VC than Park. You'll get constant games, which equals more VC than Park or pro or uh, Rec. And if you make a new team, you'll play against bodier people. Because if you, as you guys know about pro -M, if you guys have that, um, if you guys have a good, really good record on Pro Am, you're gonna be playing with other people with really good records because it's a matchmaking uh, situation. It's not like Park where you can just load in with bots and play against bots or stuff like that. It is literally a matchmaking. So based off of like win percentage. So my win percentage is pretty high. I actually like try. I actually try hard in everything I do. As you can see, Pro Am is 21 point, 21 to six. So I don't know what that is with uh, win percentage wise. I'm about to actually check that right now. But like I said, you just keep making new teams nonstop, and you guys will succeed in pro am as long as you guys have people to play with. You got you guys be good. So it's a 33% in the 3v3, and I haven't played a single 5v5 game. So 77% is not that bad at all. So you guys can play bots with a 77 win percentage or up. Okay, you guys can still get bots. So that's the first method. For the second method. You guys want to come over to any, any elevator, all right? Any elevator, what, wherever you are, just go to an elevator. I don't really care what elevator you go to. Go to deck 14 and then go to the game room, all right? So in the game room, there's going to be a few stuff that you can do to even get VC in this room alone. The first thing I recommend doing is always doing the daily pick'em. Daily pick'em is going to just... Daily Pick'em always gets you VC, games in progress, stuff like that. Now, it might be a little bit different right now since we're in the playoffs and the finals and stuff like that. But, you know, you got to think, if you haven't ever done the Daily Pick'em, you lost out on a lot of VC. They get you a good amount of VC if you get them right. You pretty much choose a team that you think is going to win, and if they win, you get VC4. It's like gambling, but you're doing it for free. Next thing you want to do is go over here and spin the wheel. 
So I have a really bad habit of spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel for me, it's just, I don't really see it as, you know, I, have, I already have a ton of VC. I already have a, like unlimited boost pretty much. So I don't really need to spin the wheel, but it's still really beneficial for you guys. As you can see, I won bo uh, boost right there, five uh, attribute boost. But if I spun it a little bit harder, I would have gotten that VC as you can see right there. So it's all in the game room. You can do it easily. As you can see, top right, 152,000. So I gained 1,000 just from this video alone. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I had 151,000. I gained 1,000 from this video alone. So we're, And we're only on the second method, okay? We're going to go on to the third method. Um, you don't need to go anywhere, okay? It's pretty much the trivia. So you go up to your phone, click trivia. I think it's at like 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern time every single night. Uh, so you play the trivia and I don't know if you guys know about this, but all my friends use it It's an app called Socratic people use it for their school to cheat on their assignments um, But you know Socratic is really good Especially if you want to win some VC because they're all on there You just take a picture of the question it'll pop up right away and you guys will get the, the question right Okay, the question is there on Socratic you can also use Google, but it's a little bit harder because you're gonna have to actually type it or the voice to speech chat, whatever it is. But use Socratic, you just take a picture, and like I said, it's gonna be really helpful. Next thing for the third method, this is the third method now, okay? So, uh, or that was the third method, method sorry. So, use tr do the trivia and do use Socratic. Next method, the fourth method, we have two more the fourth and the fifth. Next method, which is the fourth one, is the quest, okay? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, why would I be doing quests right now? Quests are not going to benefit me for anything. But that's actually false. You can get a lot of VC. Right here, this is 200 VC, 200 VC, 200 VC. Uh, that was a double, 2,000 VC right here for just making 25 free throws. That's really easy. 2,000 VC, again, 4,000 VC for getting, I mean, that's a lot of assists. 2,000 points or 750 assists. 5,500 VC, literally any 50 neighborhood games. That's not even that bad. 5,000 VC for 50 games with a teammate, hey, with an A or higher on for 50 games. So you can get a lot of VC. This one is 50 VC, which is not even, you don't even need to. You just play one part game and that's it. But like you can get 5,000 VC, 5,000, 5, almost 6,000 VC per, you know, quest because you're doing this and you're stacking it and it stacks a lot, okay? And, you know, you got to make time to do all the quests at once. Um, it really does help out if you have some friends to play with because quests are really boring and annoying. If you guys want, you guys can, like, watch Netflix while you're doing it. Just schedule time out of your day to do it. If, no one, if none of your friends are on to play with or grind content or whatever you do on the game, make sure you just do quests, okay? If you're going to be on the game anyway, make sure you do quests. Find a good show like Stranger Things. That's what I'm watching right now. And just do the quests, grind them out. I'm not going to do it because I already have a ton of VC. I don't need more VC. I don't I, I don't need to spend VC either. I'm not I don't think I'm going to be making any more builds. So I'm just stacking my VC right now. Okay, so for the final method, the fifth method right here is play my career it's a two-parter okay so play my career and then while you're playing my career you're gonna be earning endorsements now I'm gonna show you guys how much you can earn from endorsements I forgot where the thing is. okay it's in the lobby so you want to go to the lobby I don't think I've ever accepted money from an endorsement uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we have any money to accept but my career and endorsements actually let me before I even accept any endorsements let me show you guys the endorsements I already have so right here all these right here so that's three that's seven endorsements right here 2k sports 4400 VC per event appearance 3000 per event appearance one 1500 per event appearance you see you feel me and you get 50 like 50 uh, VC Two per VC per for three point shot made like you're getting VC for playing the game pretty much and that doesn't account for the fact that you're winning the games and actually getting the end game VC now I heard that you can actually get the endorsements from over here now I've never done it because I didn't really care but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and see what it is right now so I had 152,000 we're gonna collect the endorsements okay we're gonna dismiss that we're gonna keep collecting it and then I also heard if you go to this, I, I've never been over here, so I'll, let me go just see if this is true. Okay, well it's not true. So you just want to go all the way over there to where I just was, collect your VC. We're going to see how much VC I have right now. Uh, I had 152, I started the video with 151, 
we ended up at 152 now we're gonna see we had 166,000 VC you're telling me I just gained 14,000 15,000 VC just from this video so that's gonna that just proves to you guys that this video is really helpful 15,000 VC just from this video now that's literally a VC met that's that's less than I don't even know how long I've been recording but that's less than 10 minutes of doing work okay I'm recording this video I haven't skipped a single thing 166,000 VC so that's pretty much it for this video guys as you can see right there I got a ton of VC right there right now I didn't cut anything you guys saw it here live this is a live commentary um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe. I'm going to be trying to grind out content for 2K. Um, I tried doing Call of Duty. I'm going to make a second channel just for Call of Duty. And I want that Call of Duty to be my main channel. But, you know, I'm going to grind out this channel as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and i catch you guys in the next video. Peace.